Hello everyone and welcome back. I have two very off my builds that are both fun and very chaotic to own. If you have Air Apparent and Eyes Tomorrow, then I welcome you all to today's heavy hitter builds designed for plain old burning as much ammo as possible. Our first build has come in many variations and names by Destiny players. Some have called it the AC-130, others have called it Death Run Buff. However, when you look at it, the following build is both a lifesaver for those on the ground and a death sentence to others. Utilizing Warlock's Heat Rises ability will combine his effects with Eyes of Tomorrow to make an in air, death from above build that is both great with wiping out fields of enemies over and over again. By using this, not only can you use your grenades and melee abilities over and over again, thanks to the fragments being used, but your main heavy can also reach a new ammo as long as you take out around 4 plus enemies at once. You also get some great damage boosts via the Mantle Battle Harmony and Solar Surge mods to really push your build to its limits. So for the subclass choice, it's going to be Daybreak with Touch of Flame and Heat Rises, and then you'll want Ember of Ashes, Ember of Sharp, Ember of Combustion, and Ember of Blistering. The following setup will not only grant you increased grenade and ability energy that will link into your mods later, but the enhanced ability to stay in the air for long will overall balance out how the build will feel when you stay in the air for a very long time. The fragments provided are to make sure that when we use our super, we can increase the amount of scorch and ignition damage we do in a small time frame. With Mantle Battle Harmony at play, this will increase the amount of super energy we get normally, and thus allow us to use it more often while also causing a severe level of terror at the same time. Leading into the stats and mod section, having a high discipline and strength stat will allow you to make use of the two rombo combos and both ignite and scorch targets with ease while on the ground or in the air. Ideally, aim for a tier 7 for both stats if possible and then make use of the font of Vigum and focus mods so you can get that extra plus 30 towards the current stats. This, along with Fire Sprites and Heat Rises secondary effect, will allow us to get both of these two stats up and running without the need of additional ability buffing mods. After that, having charged up with Solar or Harmonic Siphon will help with making orbs of power to empower our armor charges and also increase our damage by 17% via times 2 Solar Surge weapon mods. Most importantly though, make sure you have the Heavy Ammo Finder mod, times 2 Solar Reserves or Harmonic, and Harmonic Scavenger mod as you will be making full use of your rockets in the hand. This now leads us to the weapons which should be easy to fill in on your end. Then having a secondary with incandescent on it will truly help out with the death from above theme, but also it will build into our selected fragments as well. A retrace path is a pretty simple and easy to find weapon that can get the perk, and just the one perk is all you need here. Lastly, the Eyes of Tomorrow Exotic Rock Launcher is what will make the build feel complete. The following has been updated now to not only increase the weapon's next volley of shots after 4 kills, but it also refund ammo back to you. This is unique as this is the only rocket launcher that can achieve such a goal in endgame content, and this also makes it an ad clear monster in the right environments. Whether you want to use this setup in endgame content or not, the following will not let you down with how outright destructive it can be. I used this in a GM Battlegrounds last week with a few changes and the following works out really well with zone control and clearing pathways for your team. However, do remember that the following build will make you an easy to hit target since you have little or no cover on the air. This means you've got to have another team member to take the heat away from you so you can do your part properly. And for this, I have a build just for that. With all designated armies, everyone has a role on the team, and with Air Force support and guard troops and vice versa, this build is no different. This Titan build is all about being a bullet sponge and dishing out damage back to targets while air support is nearby and boy does it work out really well. A thing with this build like a tank, a tank cannot survive on its own and is far too weak against large forces, but if you add on what I have and a secondary build and name, you'll get some incredible dual combo to use with your mates. Adrian Warwick and Air Power is a really easy and good combo but when combined with Void, you can become the number one tank in the field. So for the subclass, you'll want Ward of Dawn with Bastion and Offensive Bulwark. Then you'll want Echo Persistent, Echo Provision, Echo Vigilance, and Echo Starvation. All of these here will lean heavily into our overshields and provide layers upon layers of defense so that no matter what happens, we can still keep fighting. 
adding in devour will pretty much allow us to override deaths when our overshields are down and out and when that's not the case overshield being used will grant us back fast grenade ability regen which we can use to lock down the more tougher enemies easier all of this now leads us to the stats mod section for the build where anything goes Ideally, resilience should be much higher than what I have at tier 7 to 10, as those barricades being put in place will grant us the extra defense as well, as well as extra ability regen capabilities. If that's not the case, then don't worry, as this won't slow you down. In fact, you can add on the Front of Endurance mod for that extra plus 30 towards the stat, no matter how low your base stat is. From here, your discipline can be at tier 7 with Front of Focus attached to it, to then push it to tier 10. This stat will be used a lot and depending on your grenade choice can help with slowing down or outright inflicting high damage while you prep your other gear from there. From here you then want either a kinetic or solar cipher mod depending on what weapon is being used here and also having the firepower mod can also help bolster how much orbs of power you can generate. This will all go into our armor charges so charged up and powerful attraction are two deadly combos to pair when using this on titans. You can then go ahead and add on these surge mods such as what I have done, but I have split it up so that kinetic and solar weapons get a 7% damage buff each. The most important mod you must have though is the heavy ammo finder mods, solar reserves and solar scavenger mods. These are a must if you want to use your heavy for a long time as trust me, using ever apparent with this will eat through your ammo reserves like it's nothing. Talking about weapons, I have the Lord Roxy as my main primary weapon with Demolition's Cascade Point, and I have found that a Cascade Point with Grenade Launcher is the perfect pairing if you want a constant high fire and damage rate AR for literally nothing. Depending on what your secondary is, having a Grenade Launcher or a Fusion Rifle with Auto Loading can help push your AR to be a big damage dealer for everything until you need to go ahead and swap it in and out at a kill. This is where your secondary will be important as having the harsh language grenade launcher with MVS and destabilizing rounds can make the fallen build even more lethal in close range. This is a world drop weapon that a lot of players can get and most likely have gotten, but don't worry if you don't get what I have shown as just any grenade launcher, ideally a wave frame, would be good enough here. This will act as a 1-2 star for our primary as long as we net a kill with this it would trigger our primary to do its part. And lastly, we of course have the main heavy hit of the build and that is the air apparent assault machine gun. This thing chews through targets like butter and its sheer firepower against bosses tend to unlock a more wild side to me. Now although this is not a meta weapon to use in Steam, the following is still great to use every now and then as long as you can retain the weapon's ammo stock. With Action War Rig attached, you can auto reload your shots for as long as the weapon can last, and boy, can it fire for a long time. However, you will run out of ammo fast when using it willy nilly, and if you don't make use of your ammo mod to create more heavy on demand, you will suffer the consequences. This is why, when using the two forming builds together, you can create a steady and cooperative setup where both parties benefit from each other. Our Warlords can use their rockets to take out the smaller targets while Titan can use their machine gun to take out the bigger targets. Together, you can make a pretty effective team that can dominate most content. All of this at the end of the day is designed for fun and just try something new. And if you get bored of the current states of builds, then why not give this build a full try? But overall, what do you guys think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below, while at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.